Well, good afternoon, Sanctuary. I'm Father Paul. I just wanted to come and bring you a quick update on Sanctuary's reopening plans and what that means for us here in the near future. First of all, thank you to those of you who took time out of your week, who took an evening to hop on a Zoom call with us for our digital town hall meeting last night. Uh, We know that that's not easy to do. And so thank you for those of you who, again, took the time to make space for us and give us some time to explain to you exactly how we're processing and what we're hoping will happen in the future. But for those of you who weren't, we did want to come and give you some of the highlights, some of the bullet points about what this means for Sanctuary and how we hope to move forward. So starting this Sunday, August 23rd, these shifts are going to start taking place. And here's what you can expect. First of all, We've been meeting with about 20 people in the room on Sunday mornings, and we've been gathering, watching the live stream together and trying to engage with it as best as we can, and then coming to the table and receiving the Eucharist. This Sunday, we're going to up that capacity to 75, so we're going to get more bodies in the room. We feel like we've got plenty of space, and we can implement enough social distancing measures to still make this a safe process for everybody. We're also going to be bringing more and more of the service into the room, which means we're going to be singing songs together and hearing live music. We're going to be hearing uh, this Sunday's Dr. Chris Green is going to be with us in the room, actually preaching in person and not just like a hologram of him. And we're also going to take time to come to the table because we are a sacramental people. We are people who come and give thanks and receive the Eucharist. So here's what we need you to do if you'd like to participate. One, we need you to register. We need to be able to know how many people we're expecting and be able to plan for them in a way that is safe and makes sense. So you can follow the link that's gonna be in the description of this video, and that'll take you to a registration page for you to sign up every person in your family who's going to be attending. Speaking of families, unfortunately, we're not able to offer childcare just yet. And so for those of you who have young kids, you are the largest demographic of sanctuarians that we have. You're about a third of our whole community. So we know that this is tough, but even though we're not able to offer childcare, I want you to hear me say, you and your family are welcome. We want you to bring your kids. We want you to come as a family and worship together. You know, the whole purpose of what we're doing when we're gathering is coming to worship and to honor God. And there's some strangeness to that, but we want to make sure we're doing this as a family. And so for those of you who have kids that you feel can be managed to a degree, who can uh, either be distracted or pay attention for at least 30 to 40 minutes, we want to encourage you to come bring your kids, which means it's going to be loud and it's going to be a little imperfect. But again, this is all part of the beauty of it. Also, Masks are going to be required for everybody who plans to attend and participate. We know that masks are still a bit of a gnarly issue for most of us. And please hear me say that this is not any kind of political statement, Um, not really taking a position on anything. We're simply suggesting that this is one of the ways that we care for our neighbor. And we want to also follow the guidelines that are being set for us by the Tulsa Health Department, by the CDC. And so please, again, this is not a political statement. It's really just a statement of care. Finally, as you arrive at the building on Sunday morning, our temperatures are going to be taken, which is an experience we're all looking forward to. But please be patient and you might want to plan to show up a few minutes early because it does take a minute or two to actually go through all of the things that we need to do to make sure this all happens safely and in a way that makes sense for all of us. Sanctuary, thank you so much for being a part of this community. We hope to see you soon. Grace and peace.